What is up, YouTube? So, uh, we're gonna have to kind of start over here, and let me explain for a minute. I had a couple videos that everybody here had been, and along with my Patreon, had been voting on for a seating depth test, and then a powder depth test, and then it occurred to me that I did not have a barrel up and running that would be adequate for me to go shoot the Texas State long range match in a month with. And it's the third largest match in the country. It's kind of a big deal. It's one of the three matches, four matches that I would really call an A-level match. And I'm not going to take a thousand round barrel there if I can help it. So I had to kind of scrap the stuff that you guys have been voting on. But let me just give you a quick recap. Uh, the seating depth test, I think everybody picked a couple really good spots for the seating depth. I then did a powder test. The predominant powder test was 57 grains on that last one. Uh, I went to 57.5. To be honest, they both looked like they were going to perform pretty well, so we might have been in a pretty wide node there. Uh, but we didn't do any further testing. I did a couple shots at 600 yards with the uh, 57.5. It performed okay, but it was a horrible day outside, big switching, swirly, seven to 10 mile an hour winds. Uh, so nothing was really learned, nothing was really gained, but we're now starting over. Brand new barrel, 100 rounds on it. So now I'm starting my load development. Uh, I'm doing the seating depth test, just a little bit different as well. And you'll see the targets here in a second, but let me just explain what I did. I loaded up the exact same. So we went from about the lands all the way back to about 40 thousands. And then I loaded two sets of those. So from cold bore, I shot closest to lands all the way back. And then I let the gun cool down to what I would consider like a match grade uh, temperature, which is typically around 100, 110 degrees is where my barrels usually end up. Sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more, but it's kind of a good range to guess on. And then I shot the other uh, ones the opposite direction. So furthest from the lands all the way to the lands. So that gave us a real wide spread of what temperatures are we shooting in in terms of barrel temperature and we shot them in reverse so that you can really look for correlations between okay which ones perform in cold barrel conditions hot barrel conditions and so forth so take a look at these targets we're going to go through seating depth here we're going to do powder we're going to do tuner i'm even going to do a bullet so i'm going to do out of the box bullets out of the box and pointed bullets we're going to do pointed trimmed bullets. We're going to do pointed trimmed and nose ring bullets. So I'm going to cover a bunch of that. We'll show different groups, different statistics on those uh, in hopes that in three weeks here, I will have a dedicated load to take to Texas with me and hopefully uh, win the thing. So, I mean, that's the goal, isn't it? So anyway, here come the targets. This is again, fresh barrel, about a hundred rounds on it. You're seeing the next 60 rounds that went on to the gun. Pick out what you think is going to be the best seating depth. My Patreon people over on Patreon are voting. They're going to be the ones that we go with. See how close you match up to them. Uh, everybody here has been doing a great job. I think in general, there's a lot of really good talk going on about why people are picking different things. And as I go through this one, uh, I really hope to be able to add some more dialogue in terms of what I picked, why I picked it, and then we can keep moving forward with the uh, the viewer picks and then my picks and then we'll ultimately see where that gets us. So I could be right. I could be wrong. Viewers could be right. They could be wrong or we both could be right. We both could be wrong. So you just never know. But uh, this is my real world. Um, I don't make videos, you know, that aren't what I'm doing in my real life. So uh, I needed to get a fresh barrel. So I appreciate everybody's patience and starting over on this one with me. Stick along. We're going to see what happens. Thanks a lot. Here we go. We are going to be starting with a brand new fresh barrel. All right, we're out here doing our 100 yard seating depth test and I'm gonna do things just a little differently this time. I'm actually going to be shooting the same seating depth test twice in a row. We're gonna go from shortest to longest and then we're gonna go from longest to shortest. And we'll take a break obviously about halfway through and then at the end and then another halfway through and then obviously we'll be done. So this barrel has about a hundred rounds on it. It's where I would normally start doing my load development. We're of course going to be doing some through the camera footage here and we're going to see what you guys think is the best seating depth to start with. 